In the last few years in voiceovers, there's been a move towards a more conversational, chatty, informal style, which is fine. But how do you achieve it? Hello, welcome along to my VO Masterclass. Now, it's the holy grail of a voiceover read. It is the conversational delivery. How do you achieve it? It's one of those elusive things that does escape some people, but other people seem to be able to do it just like that. I want you to take a listen to one of my students. It's Mark Thomas, and here he is doing a voiceover for Mathletics in association with UNICEF. Zimbabwe is home to over 13 million people. More than 72% of the population here live below the poverty line. At Mathletics, we believe no young person should go without an education. That's why we are proud to have been partners with UNICEF since 2014. It's a really natural, lovely read, isn't it? It's, it just seems to flow. It's as if Mark's chatting to us in, in, in a coffee bar somewhere and, and he's just telling us all about Mathletics and, and about UNICEF. And I think that's very important. He's inhabiting the words, but he's also not hitting certain words too hard. Let's take a look at these words here. Now, this is a corporate script, and I'm going to read it in a sort of voiceovery way. These days, it's imperative to put your best digital foot forward by maintaining a positive online image. If you haven't thought about it before, perhaps it's time to take a hard, honest look at how you're managing your online reputation. Now, in my opinion, that's far too overdone, really. And I think I can make it a bit more natural, a bit more informal, a bit more conversational. These days, it's imperative to put your best digital foot forward by maintaining a positive online image. If you haven't thought about it before, perhaps it's time to take a hard, honest look at how you're managing your online reputation. I think that's a much better way of doing it. It's more natural, it's lighter. I'm not trying to be voiceover man, which in fact in the early days I always used to be and it never kind of worked and you end up sounding a bit like a, a radio DJ really. So it's getting to know the words and it's getting to know your voice as well and learning to relax into that voice and being comfortable with it as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and I'll see you next time.